Ryan Allen. Ryan, are you ready to roll? Yes. All right, we're going to go. So I'm Ryan Alou, I'm a freshman here, and I got five minutes to prove you to, to convince you two things. I gotta be, I gotta convince you that I'm worth investing in. I gotta convince you that my idea is worth investing. In. So a little bit about me. In high school, I graduated with 4.5 GPA, and I took 13 AP credits. So when I came in here, I had 52 credits. And I'm on track to graduate with the triple major in three years. Okay. Um, a lot other things about me. I'm the vice president here. Okay. I'm the mascot here. And I hold the world record. I hold the world record for Super Smash Bros. I am the fastest person to beat the game in the world. So what does that tell you about me? It tells you that when I have a dream, I get things done. So when, so when I say I have an idea, this is going to be a reality. Okay? It's not just a pipe dream, right? So about my idea here, how did I come up with this? My coach, I play on the men's volleyball team. Um, I was recruited here. My coach tells me you gotta do stats for the girls' team. I'm like, oh, okay, fine, sure, I can do that. He's like, now you gotta learn it first. I'm like, coach, come on, you know, I could do stats, right? So he's like, just stand behind the guy doing stats and learn it. I'm like, okay, fine. I go to the game and I'm looking for the guy doing stats, and I and I find out it's three people doing stats. They're all at the table. I'm like, what is this? And I kid you not, this is what it looks like. Three guys. One guy in the middle is just standing there looking at the game. And he's calling stuff out. He's like, D12, S13, A17, continue. D13, S12, A17. The guy next to him is writing crap down. Right? He's flying. There's fire coming off. He's writing something. He's writing something. He's, 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 he's crap. He needs an amputee or something. He's crap. Next person over here, he's typing, right? His fingers are stubs. He's just slacking. He's <laughs> no idea what's going on. He's just listening to what the guy's calling. And I'm like, this is the weirdest thing ever. What, what is going on, right? So uh, when I get my chance, I'm the caller, okay? I'm the guy in the middle, I'm calling, I'm like, all right, man, hopefully this is easy, I don't know. I sit down, the first one's easy, I'm like, D12, D, right? Somebody dug it, D12, S13, S, you know, the number's 13, A, you know, easy, right? Next play, last 50 seconds, I don't know what's going on. I'm like, D12, uh, 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 I'm choking or something. The guy next to me, he's just looking at me, waiting for me to say something. <laughs> Poor guy, you know, say something, yeah, I'm not doing anything, I can't see people's numbers, I can't, it's awful, right? So what I did was I came up with an idea. Forget the three people system. Forget somebody listening and just having their head down listening to what somebody's saying. I have the the controller here, right? So let's have a controller. Let's play it like a game. So you can sit down, look up, and and play it like and do stats while it's a game, right? So everything I wanted in the program is up here, right? So instead of looking at the person, trying to find the person's number, because I couldn't see them, they were parallel to me sometimes. I couldn't see their number. Their hair was covering the number. Just do their position, right? I know the back, middle, past it. Right away, back, middle, pass. Now, another thing was every time somebody served, and you had to tell them VC, like a key shortcut. You know, VC, then the number served. Why am I doing that? It's going to be the same server every time until we rotate. So just have, just have it automatically do that. A couple other things. Instead of writing D, you know, and then the number, why am I doing that? The first touch is almost always, like 95% of the time, it's a dick. So the first touch it should just be one button press, right? Instead of 13, uh, instead of three different keystrokes, like if it's like double digit number, right? And then the second one is almost always 90%, it's gonna be a set, right, to the hitter. So let's just have one button for it. The setter almost always sets it, so I'll have it on R1, right? Set, so we got one button, one button. And then the attack, who attacked it? Was it the middle hitter? Was it the outside hitter? You know, was it the opposite hitter? And just one button. So now instead of doing nine keystrokes for one rally, we just have three button touches, right? Um, and everything that I needed, also, if you messed up when you were calling, it was over. Like, if you said the wrong number, you can't go back. It's done. You know, you're, you're toast, right? So instead, now I have, I have a go back, and I have a skip. So go back one. If I made a mistake, you know, then type in the, next, the correct thing. You press the right button. One more. And if I missed one or something, we have a skip. Let's go to the next thing. Let's say I couldn't see who dug it. Let's just do a skip, hit the set. But with the, with the old application with the keyboard presses, you had to have it in order, and you'd have to wait until like somebody said something right. So I feel like this would be a lot better and a lot easier. Get rid of three people, you have one person. Perfect deal. And that's all. Judges, you're for. How are you making money? 
I beg my All right, so this program is called, uh, the old program with keyboards is called Task BB, and every NCAA school buys it. It's like mandated from the NCAA. So I'm going to sell the program and the, the controller with it. So that would be, so the TAS Volleyball, they sell their program at $400, and then like $140 for renewal, and I'll, I'll sell it for cheaper. I'll sell my program for $300, and then $100 for renewal, just to compete with it. So you know that's the price, the 400 Yeah, that's what they're charging, TAS, BB, that's what they're yeah. uh, First of all, based on a, a follow-up to his question, do you have an idea of what it's going to cost <coughs> to produce the unit? And, and is there similar, this is a, a type of game console unit, where, where is the memory unit that, that holds all the data that your spotter or uh, your, your staff person is, is keying in. Right, yeah, that's a good question. So this, that controller is going to plug into like a laptop, and then the software is going to be on the laptop, and you, just like how you would run a video game off of your laptop, it would just be like this. Yes, great question. You need USB port? Yes, or? USB. Okay. And that's significantly cheap. Like, this is like a PlayStation 3 controller <laughs> design, a little bit, it's based off that. And those are like, Six dollars. They're super cheap. Yeah. So the NCAA requires those to be used. Yeah, every NCAA school uses uh, not the controller, but uses the program that they have right now, TASBB. It's called. So how do you get them to recommend your version over what you currently using? Right. Um, I hope to garnish. Uh, and this, this like this uh, problem that I had when I was calling stuff out is like almost universal. Okay, like uh, almost every school has this problem. I've looked it up. It's, it's super hard, right? So I hope to like garnish enough like complaints that they'll have to like prefer mine over the over the competitors. Yeah. I think you're missing a pointed opportunity there to wait till they complain. You need okay. to be a little bit more aggressive in your pursuits. If you really do feel as though this product is what you believe it to be, you need to go out and put forth that argument. Okay, yeah, that's a great idea. I think I could maybe uh, gather like a petition or something, you know, something like that. Don't yeah. You talked about doing this with stats for volleyball. Mm -hmm. yes. Can the program be modified to cover other things, for instance, a football spotter or during a game or, or other yeah. sporting events at universities? Yeah. How, that, how would you do that? That's awesome. Um, that's what I was thinking. That's what I wanted. That's like my next, next step. Once I finish volleyball, because that's like the hardest, I think, most fast-paced game. Um, yeah, I hope to do to develop it for other sports. Now, obviously, there's not a big complaint for the other ones that are slow going because you know you can type it; it's not as rapid. And if you mess up, you maybe have time to fix it. But um, yes, I hope to develop it. Maybe not have a controller for each game, but like maybe one controller for like several sports that are slower going. That and that is time. Thing. So yeah. thank you very much, Ryan. All right.